what's going on? You're watching ProgressivePulse.com. Steve Rodriguez here in New York City at Soho Contemporary Art Gallery with the artist Rich Simmons. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. Well, I just attended your London Calling, uh, which is your New York debut here, right? It is, yeah. Yeah, it's my first show in New York and um, down on the Bowery at Soho Contemporary Art. I couldn't ask for more. I'm self-taught in art and I've, I've been learning since I was 18, just cutting stencils and got to a point where the royal wedding was coming up. I had connections with the Prince's Trust anyway, and I thought of this idea of doing Will and Kate as the Sex Pistols and showing them in a completely different light, because I, I love juxtapositions and I've got a kind of twisted sense of humor. So I thought doing that, did it at South Bank Skate Park, iconic wall, and it got so much attention that I kind of accidentally fell into a career in the art world. And, uh, gallery shows offering me, uh, me deals and t-shirts and prints, and, and here I am four or five years later in New York City. Awesome. Well, one of the things I wanted to talk about is the actual process, because when I was here, people are so curious about how you create yeah. these. I know it's from reclaimed billboards, and you use stenciling, and, um, but talk about, break it down for us, because I know a lot of us really want to know how each piece is sort of created. So I love finding texture and beauty on the walls and I, I love walking around the cities and finding walls and billboards and ripping them down and reclaiming them and repurposing them and finding hidden beauty and pulling all the layers apart and finding colors and finding the textures and using parts of the street to make something that is inspired by street art. So there's actual pieces of the street. Then it's all hand drawn, hand cut stencils. It's thousands of hours of me sat over a light box drawing it all so it's all my hand style and then cutting it all with a scalpel and then building it all up to create the composition on the canvas and spray paint on top of the billboard. Talk about recycling and repurposing. <laughs> exactly, I, I, I mean I love the street and I'm inspired by it and I wanna incorporate that in a new way that hasn't really been done before. And, and people can see the texture and the beauty and it makes every single piece one off because I, I'm never gonna find that piece of billboard again. It's always gonna be new, and there's an exciting uh, element to that. It's almost like street art, archeology, span and it's, um, it's like a time capsule. I'm capturing pieces of the street from those pieces of time and putting them on the canvas, and I can never do it again, and that makes it more unique for the people that get my work. I love it. Well, a lot of what you're inspired by is retro art, um, pinup girls from the 50s, yeah. but a lot of superhero themes. But one of the things I liked is that your superheroes, um, you kind of juxtapose them in a different way. Talk about that. Yeah, I, I mean, I love the, uh, the old retro stuff, the pinup girls where they're kind of sexy, but in a sultry way where they're not showing too much, it's just a bit of stocking. And the old silver era comics, so 50s and 60s, Jack Kirby sort of inspired, and he's, he's from down on the Bowery as well, so that's another huge thing for me to be able to be exhibiting where Jack Kirby was from. And uh, putting them in, in a different light and making people realize that superheroes are real people as well and they're gonna have urges and they're gonna have fetishes and they're gonna have different personalities away from being a hero and whether they're gay, whether they're in romantic flings and, and, and showing that they're not just about being a hero, it's, they're a person as well. They've still got a bill to pay. They've still got to put food on the table. They've still got to uh, have a love life and get that out of their system. So showing these different sides to the superheroes is fun for me because I get lots of different reactions to them. I like to be inspired by everything and I don't think you can limit yourself to just being inspired by a couple of people. You have to be inspired by people you meet on the street, walking down and seeing a wall and seeing the texture and seeing a building and and having a conversation and hearing a joke. You have to be able to be inspired by so many different things to be a well-rounded human, as well as an artist. And I try and absorb all these different kinds of inspiration and put it into my art in different ways. <laughs>